My dear students, welcome back to another video lesson. So for this video lesson, ito na po yung ating uh, pinakahuling lesson for uh, grade 10 mathematics quarter 2 wherein we will solve word problems involving equation of a circle. So last uh, uh, video lesson ko, ininiscuss ko po yung equation of a circle kung paano siya sulat in standard form, in general form, and then how do we determine the center and radius of the circle given the equation as well as on how to graph the equation of a circle. So dito, so involved pa rin po yung equation of a circle, but we will try to solve word problems. So for the lesson objective, of course, we will solve problems involving equation of a circle. So let us have the first problem. What is the standard equation of a circle whose diameter is 24 units and its center is at 5, negative 4? Okay. So yung ating uh, given problem, nire-require niya tayo na isulat yung equation ng circle in standard form. So yung standard form ng equation po ng circle is quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared equals r squared. Now, based sa mga info or given dito sa ating problem, yung diameter ng circle is 24 units. Okay, so nawawala po yung radius. Is it possible to determine the radius of the circle given the diameter? Yes. All we need to do is to divide the diameter, yung sukat ng diameter, by 2. Okay, so ang mangyayari dito, yung diameter na 24 units, i-divide natin sa 2. Okay, so kapag dinivide natin po yun sa 2, ma-obtain po yung radius which is 12 units. So 24 divided by 2 is 12 units. Now, isa-substitute natin ngayon yung center given 5, negative 4, tsaka yung ating radius, which is 12 units. Doon sa ating standard equation ng circle. So, magiging x minus 5 squared plus y minus negative 4. So, y minus negative 4 quantity squared equals yung ating radius, 12 units. So, 12 square. Next, x minus 5 square plus y minus negative 4 will become y plus 4 quantity squared equals 12 squared. So, the square of 12 is 144. So, ibig sabihin po, yung ating sagot dito is the quantity of x minus 5 square plus y plus 4 square is equal to 144. So, ganun lang po kadali. Kapag given po yung diameter, of course, we need to divide it by 2 to obtain the measure of the radius. But, kung given naman yung radius, no need to divide it, divide it by 2. So, kasi given ang radius. So, next problem, the diameter of a circle is 9 units. If the center is at 2, 7, write the equation of a circle in general form. So, again, dito given po yung sukat ng ating diameter. Okay. So, kapag pinagsama kasi natin yung sukat ng the long radius, yun po yung katumbas ng sukat ng diameter. So, para makuha yung uh, sukat ng radius, of course, we will need to divide 9 units by 2. So, magiging R is equal to 9 over 2 units. Or we can write it as 4.5 units. Or 4.5 units. So, para mas madali na lang po, gagamitin po natin dito is 9 over 2. Okay, next. Yung center naman natin is at 2, 7. And then, kailangan natin isulat yung equation ng circle in general form. So, to do that, sulat muna natin yung standard equation ng circle. So, ayan po ang ating standard equation ng circle. And then, Isa substitute natin yung HK, yun po yung coordinates ng center. So yung C o center, yung center niya is at 2 7. So 2 will become H and then 7 naman is yung K. Okay, and then yung R natin is 9 over 2. 
substitute natin, so x minus 2, quantity squared, plus the quantity of y minus 7 squared is equal to r squared. So r squared, so the quantity of 9 over 2 squared. Next, ang gagawin lang po natin yan is i-expand po natin yung binomial. So, x minus 2, ayan, square po natin yan, magiging x squared minus 4x plus 4. So, paano nangyari yun? Square the first term, x squared, and then twice the product of the first and second term. So, x times negative 2 is negative 2x times 2, kaya naging negative 4x. And then, square the last term, negative 2 square is positive 4. Next, so y minus 7 naman, so magiging plus y square minus 14y. So, y times negative 7 is negative 7y times 2, negative 14y. And then, square ng last term, negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49 equals the square of 9 over 2 is 81 over 4. So, kailangan po natin ma-eliminate yung may denominator. Okay, yung denominator na 81. Ayan. So, 81 over 4, yan. Kailangan po natin i-multiply yung whole equation by 4. So, kailangan po kasing ma-eliminate yun. So, i-multiply ngayon natin yung 4 sa whole equation. So, una muna, 4 times x squared is 4x squared. Next, 4 times negative 4x is negative 16x. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus, y squared times 4, 4y squared, and then 4 times negative 14y is negative 56y, 49 times 4 is 196, and then equals 81 over 4 times 4, so makakancel out na po yung 4, yung denominator, matitira na lang po is 81. Now, kailangan po nating dalhin ang 81 sa left side para maisulat natin yung equation sa general form. So, magiging 4x squared plus 4y squared and then minus 16x minus 56y and then i-combine natin yung 16, 196, tsaka negative 81. So, plus 16 plus 196 minus 81 equals 0. So, i-combine lang natin ang 16, 196, tsaka negative 81. So, our final answer will be 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 16x minus 56y and then 16 plus 196 is 212 minus 81. So, yung ating uh, Sagot dito is 131. So, yung ating final answer, 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 16x minus 56y plus 131 equals 0. So, next problem, number 3. A line passes through the center of a circle and intersect it at points 3, 4, and 9, 8. What is the equation of the circle in standard form? Okay. Paano natin sasagutin yung tanong na yan? First, we have to get the midpoint of the two given points to determine the center of the circle. Okay. So, yung kasing uh, given nating points 3, 4, Tsaka 9 over 8. Ito po yung mga endpoints. Okay? So, and then, sabi sa problem, a line passes through the center of the circle. Ibig sabihin, yung uh, line is kinocross niya yung center ng circle. Okay? So, ngayon, hindi po natin alam kung ano ang center ng circle. Ang alam lang po natin is yung endpoints niya. So, para makuha po yung center ng circle, since given po yung dalawang endpoints niya, gagamit po tayo ng midpoint formula. So, yung midpoint formula po natin, so, m equals uh, the sum of x sub 1 and x sub 2 over 2, tsaka 
Yung isa naman, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. Next, kunin po natin yung midpoint ng uh, x. So, yung x coordinate po natin. Yung x coordinate ng midpoint. So, m sub x is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2. Now, based dito sa ating mga endpoints, so, yung 3 at 9 ang ating mga x coordinates. So, i-add lang po natin yun. So, 3 plus 9 over 2, that is 12 over 2. I-divide po natin sa 2, yung 12. So, ang sagot po natin is 6. So, yung x coordinate po ng ating midpoint is 6. Next naman po, doon tayo sa y. So, yung y coordinates naman po natin, 4 and 8. So, magiging 4 plus 8 over 2. 4 plus 8 divided by 2 is 12 divided by 2. So, m sub y is equal to 6 also. Ibig sabihin, yung pong coordinates ng midpoint po natin is at 6, 6. So, yung midpoint na yan, yun po yung nagsisilbing center po ng ating circle. Next, find the radius by using the distance formula. You can use any of the two points and the coordinates of the center of the circle. Okay, so since nakuha na natin yung center ng circle and then given yung dalawang endpoints, so kailangan po natin ngayon makuha yung sukat ng radius. So illustrate natin. So ito yung dalawang endpoints. Ayan. A, B. And then yung midpoint nila, pangalan na natin ng C. And then, kung, equation, kung circle ang ating ginagrap, paano natin makukuha yung uh, sukat ng radius? Ibig sabihin, maari natin gamitin yung coordinates ng A o kaya yung B. Pero, yung C, automatic po yung kailangan. It's because, yung isa sa mga endpoint ng radius ng circle is yung nasa center. Okay, so pwede natin kunin yung distance between A to C o kaya naman C to B. So, kahit alin po dyan ang pwede natin gamitin, makukuha po natin yung parehong uh, sagot for radius. So, gamitin natin yung una. So, yung coordinates na 3, 4. Next, yung ating uh, center, yung nakuha natin midpoint kanina is at 6, 6. Ayan. So, and then, i-apply natin yung distance formula. So, baguhin natin siya. R is equal to square root of the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square plus the quantity of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square. So, yung R po dito, ito po yung nagsisilbing distance. Okay. So, pwede kasi natin i-apply yung distance formula para makuha yung sukat ng radius. Now, R is equal to, ita substitute po natin yung ating mga uh, coordinates. So, yung 3, 4, ito pa magsisilbing x sub 1, tsaka y sub 1. 6, 6 naman, x sub 2, y sub 2. Next, y sub 2 is 6, minus y sub 1 is 4, quantity square, plus x sub 2 is 6 minus x sub 1, 3. Next, 6 minus 4 is 2. So, quantity two, quantity of 2 square plus 6 minus 3 is 3. So, 3 squared. Next, r is equal to square root of 2 square is 4 plus 3 square is 9. And then, i-add lang po natin yung 4 tsaka 9. So, square root of 13. Okay. So, hindi pa po yan ang ating uh, equation ng circle. So, kinuha pa lang po natin yung uh, sukat ng kanyang radius. Next. 
substitute the radius and the coordinates of the center to the standard form of the equation of a circle. So, yung ating center is at 6, 6. And then, yung ating radius naman square root of 13 units. So, i-substitute lang natin yan sa standard form ng equation. So, x minus h quantity squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared equals r squared. So, yung 6, 6, yun po yung ating hk, yung value ng hk. So, magiging quantity of x minus 6 squared plus y minus 6 quantity squared is equal to r squared. So, magiging the quantity of square root of 13 square. So, isisimplify natin yung square root of 13. Okay. So, mawawala po yung radical symbol niya. So, yung ating sagot, so the quantity of x minus 6 square plus the quantity of y minus 6 square is equal to 13. So, ito po yung ating equation of the circle written in standard form. So, kapag uh, in, uh, in-apply natin yung uh, general form naman dito sa equation na to. So, expand lang po natin yung ating standard form para makuha yung general form. So, since this will be our last video lesson for this quarter, so our next video lesson will be, so yung video lessons po natin for quarter 3. So, for quarter 3, so ang pag-uusapan po natin dyan is permutation, combination, and topics on probability. So, thank you po sa mga patuloy na nanonood at uh, natututo sa aking mga video lessons. So, yun lang po. Maraming salamat.